guys welcome back to exotic tea blog i'm back with another video before we get into this one make sure you like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell so every single time i post you'll be notified if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button return the subscribers y'all keep doing shit i love y'all and quickly tap link in comment section and also description to subscribe to my backup channel at exotic tea blog 2 don't miss out i also post exclusive there and let's quickly dive into today's topic stand up with the queen of rap Nicki minaj and cindy Lufthansa's Nikki brought Cindy on the Pink Friday to Gate City War Tour, Brooklyn, and they both performed her song Pink Friday Girls. And Nikki um said that was her favorite song, and we all know that she for sure because it makes sense. Nikki did sample the song, and she is a legend. The song is a classic. That's one of my favorite songs on the album, and I actually love the original song. So i saw the performance i loved it y'all should let me know if you about that down below in the comment and mind you nikki and casey has also done a performance to this one so it made a whole lot of sense for nikki bringing her out in broccoli and i mean the show was phenomenal i so love how nikki be bringing out different people in different states this shows how generous and also good Nicki Minaj is so do y'all like the performance put your thoughts and your opinion down below in the comment section and do y'all like pink friday girls let me know also moving over from there Kyra G also posted up Nicki pink friday nails on her instagram using pink friday girls so y'all should let me know if you about this down below in the comment i saw most people coming out and say oh nikki and karoji ain't cool again but guess who just posted Nicki minaj new line and also using her swan karoji y'all should stop staying delusional and y'all just want nikki to fall out with almost everybody but that shit ain't happening with nikki and karoji they've got good relationship and i'm still hoping for their two sub performance like they never performed that swan even if it was at same festivals i mean y'all should put out a performance to that song that song was the best song i'm gonna survive on um, mexico song or something like that but i mean that song is a 10 out of 10 so y'all should do a performance to the song but word industry nikki might as well work with kyra g again so y'all should let me know if you feel about this down below would you mind for a nikki and kyra g collaboration in 2024 um child i need that collaboration that's my opinion but if you ain't feeling it put your thoughts and your opinion down below but nikki and kyra g is still good y'all should start being delusional and start being pressed moving over from there doja cat and nikki minaj say so they came out four years ago today and this song was the number one song nikki helped the original say so song and the remix went number one on the billboard hot 100 charts and that made history and also broke the guinness bubble um, record something like that that said nikki and doja are the first female rappers to go number one on the billboard hot 100 chart so um congratulations to nikki and doja but fans are coming out to say nikki and doja king go number one again so do y'all do y'all think Nikki and Doja can go number one? Let me know down below in the comment. Um, yes, Nikki and Doja can go number one. We all do payola and also playlists in Doja Cats would get. And um the amount of barbs that always buy Nicki Minaj song that constantly show loves Nicki Minaj. I think the both of them can go number one. But musically wise, I think Nikki and Doja Cat would sonically sound so good because I mean the say so was a bop and nikki has good vocals doja also knows how to sing but not rap put your opinion down below now moving over to the industrial plastic bag aka the face changing alien cardi b so she did post it on her i think this is her instagram community she posted song of the day cardi b don't touch don't do too much i think that's the title of the next single fans are coming out to speculate that cardi b is coming so let me know if you about this down below in the comment do y'all think this is going to be a bop or a flop well we haven't listened to this one but can y'all predict because i'm predicting the flop no shade she been flopping on 2024 so i just gotta give out the flop but it could be a bop no one knows but then again cardi b cardi b cardi b Nobody's checking for you again. You need that pail to come back on your good foods because right now you're a flop. Your career is no different from Chop Ho. No shade. Y'all flopping go against the queen of rap. It's gonna cost y'all. 
But let me know if you love Akwari Beats and new music down below in the comment section. Moving over from there, Universal Music Group and TikTok has now reached a new agreement. All artists' music will return to the platform. So, um, this is a good look for some TikTok artists like Glorilla, um, Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B. Most of them use TikTok to promote their music they can sell. So, they should be happy because I could swear Glorilla was coming out of complain that her songs she cannot promote her song with megan the stallion wanna be because tiktok doesn't allow the song in there so she is going to be happy because her songs quayla ray is gonna chart now because she's gonna be getting that tiktok on payola but then again tiktok artists y'all should be happy about this but not too long because i heard they finna delete tiktok off the united states but let me know if you feel about that down below now moving over to megan the stallion she also came out to preview or also tease um new music on her instagram she said this may is her month and unfortunately that's my birthday so i'm kind of sad because she's gonna fill my ear with one flow hole the flow such a bar but let me know if i'm megan teasing new music lastly euphoria by kendrick lamar rises 71 spot on the new spotify global chart staying at number two we over 9.2 million streams down it also jumps 18 spots to a new peak and number one in the united states spotify charts with 5.48 million streams so congratulations to kendrick lomar i mean he be doing each modern drink the bbl king no shade like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll talk to you on the next video thanks for watching